Hey there, Mr. Bentley guy. Yep, that's me, the Bentley guy. What can I do for you? I got a project that I'm doing, and last month, our project, the customer provided us with aerial imagery. In this new project, we don't have that from the customer. Does Mike Station have anything built in where we can just bring up something aerial imagery in the background? Don't need to plot it or anything like that. Just need to have it there for context. Anything like that in MicroStation? We got Bing Maps built right into MicroStation. Not a problem. You can turn it on using view attributes. You can attach it as a raster. Oh, that's great. Didn't even think about that. Bing Maps. Super. How do I do that? How do we bring it up? Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'll show it to you. So this is how we can turn on Bing Maps. There's a couple of things you need to have set up before you can do this. Number one is your geometry needs to be coordinate correct, meaning X and Y or North and Easting. Second is you'll need to know the coordinate system for your project. So under the drawing workflow in the utilities tab, which I already have selected here, there's a group called geographic and there's an icon called coordinate system. If I click on this, it'll open up the geographic coordinate system dialog. Currently, it says name none. That means that I don't have a geographic coordinate system attached or assigned. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on from library, little icon there. I'm going to expand this out a little bit so we can see. Now what I've done is I've taken the liberty of creating some favorites here. So the one I'm going to be choosing is right here. But how did I create this favorite list? This is a great thing to have. This means you don't have, once you find your coordinate system, you can make a favorite and you don't have to hunt around for it. To get to them though, you go under library and normally you do northing and easting here projected. And I'm going to demonstrate by just going to North America. There's a couple of coordinate systems listed here. If I right click on one of these, I have the option to add to favorites. So you can just add them to favorites as you want to. So I'm not going to do that. I've already got the ones I want. And on the favorites, if you want to get rid of it, you can say delete from the group if you want to get rid of it. In this case, I'm just going to choose zone six, click OK. I now have a geographic coordinate system. Now I can attach Bing Maps and I can do this two ways. One is through view attributes. I'm going to go to my view attributes icon. When you have a geographic coordinate system, you'll see at the bottom background maps. If you don't have a GCS, you won't see this. There are four choices, none, meaning show nothing, or street map, aerial, or hybrid. I'm going to choose street map, and you can see the street map turns on in the background, giving me greater context without the aerial. I'm going to change it to hybrid, and you can see it shows me now the labels, the highways, and it shows me also the raster in the aerial imagery in the background. And if I zoom in on one of these, you can see it's fairly good imagery. Not bad at all. Zoom out. Now I'm going to turn this to none, turning that off. That will print out, but you can't clip it. So not that helpful for printing purposes, but I'm going to show you how to get around that. The other way to do this is do it as a raster. So I'm going to go ahead and close my view attributes. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go to my raster manager. And we can close the geographic coordinate system. Once you have a GCS, you go to the raster manager. If you go to file, go to attach, you'll see Bing Maps as an option. So if I click on this, once the raster attachment dialog opens up, there's a couple of things you want to look at. Number one, level. Always recommend that you attach your rasters and you assign them to a level that is specific for rasters. Because if you attach it to, let's say in my case, 60, that means if I turn off that level using my level display, then the raster will be turned off also. So best to have a level dedicated to just raster. So I'm not going to worry about that. Here, layers, you need to choose what you want to show. You can either show road, which is like maps, aerial, or area labels. I'm just going to do aerial. And I'm going to click attach. Give it a moment. And 
you can see it comes in. So now this is attaching Bing Maps as a raster. I can't clip this because it's projected. So if I select Bing Maps, I go to edit and I go to clip, you're going to see in the message center, raster image is currently reprojected. It's not going to let me clip it. So again, doesn't really help me if I'm trying to print this out. Now there is a way for you to be able to do this, clip the raster. And what I'm going to show you is that method. So I'm going to go ahead and detach this. Now I've already set this up. I already have another DGN file that has Bing Maps turned on. We are going to attach that other DGN whose sole purpose is to show me the raster. And then we're going to be able to clip the DGN, which has the raster, which in turn will clip the aerial. So we're going to go ahead and close the raster manager. I'm going to go ahead and go to my level display because there's a level I want to turn on. This is what I'm going to use to clip. I'm going to go to my reference file dialog box. I'm going to go to attach reference. And this is the file that already has attached to it a Bing Maps raster, not the view attributes. So I'm going to select that and you can see a preview of it right there. I'm going to go ahead and attach just like you would any other reference file. The thing is right down here, display raster reference. If this is checked on, it will show the raster attachment, which is the Bing Maps. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now the reference file is attached. You'll see the Bing Maps appearing. I'm now going to clip the reference file. So I'm going to go ahead and clip it and we'll say by element. So I'm going to go ahead and select my clip boundary and there it is. And now when I go to print this, it's going to print out just fine, just the raster in that area. So that's how you can clip your Bing Maps for your sheets. Just create a DGN, attach the raster to it, then attach that DGN to other files and then clip the reference, which will clip the raster. Hopefully that helped. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.